We are here at the main front entry area on the beautiful campus at Mercyhurst University. Look at the beautiful sunset, and if you look over there, you can see a little bit of Lake Erie. There's Egan Hall, and there's the library. This video is gonna be about Old Main. This building was one of the original buildings down at Egan Hall, built in 1926, when college was first founded by Sisters of Mercy. Um, we're going to be going into the tower here, the O'Neill Tower, which was built in 1932. The elevator here is from 1938, so that is a few years later. And it's a pretty cool elevator, so let's go ahead and check it out. Walking in, this is definitely the most beautiful entry on campus. Maybe not area, but definitely my favorite building on campus for this reason. There's the Christ the King Chapel. And right over here is the elevator. This is an old Otis gated, actually let's turn on the light and a moment. Nice, preheat, a little buzzy though. This is originally an old Otis, but it was modernized by Schindler with Epcot 2001, but it's still gated, so window it's a very tasteful mod. And also the door and gate are now automatic. It's very interesting and unique. My favorite building and favorite elevator on campus. Door don't open all the way. That could be definitely a little bit adjusted. Old Otis. The shaft is not insulated, so it's pretty cool. Cold. There's actually, so they added this infrared sensor here, which works. This swing door is on a separate circuit. And this gate, if you actually look, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's on a, just like a standard jail door operator. So that's pretty interesting. So now let's head up to four. Door calls does not work. That's a little, well that was a four. And here we go. This is on a new controller, new motor. The cabin gate and doors are stuff that were original. All the mechanical bits are in place for the most part. Lantern charm does that glitch. Back down to one. So the gate closes in a few seconds later, the door closes. This is the normal order. Downstairs from one at first, it wasn't like that because I was messing with the gate sensor a little bit. This door will slam. It's a basic but nice old Otis cab. The lighting here is a little dim, but that's okay. Got a beautiful brass ceiling. That's pretty nice. Pictures are obviously replaced or newer, so they don't exactly blend in with the old look, but overall this is a pretty tasteful mod. I'll take my one more ride. trouble that time I haven't seen that before. What's also cool is if you pull the stop switch, the gate doesn't open. The door still opens, because again, that's on a separate circuit. But if you push the stop switch, the gate then opens. So 
an interesting gameplay that stops it in the game. Interesting how it did the beep when closing. Normally it doesn't do that. Normally that's just when opening. Many other things you can do with this elevator too, but I'm not going to show them all in this video. Mostly involving the gate and the door and the stop switch and stuff. Bit of a rattly elevator. Fire hat flex a little too sometimes when stopping. And we'll watch it go up. We'll send out the floor. That interlock is old and original. So yeah, this is basically just like a door operator arm. Well, I guess some gates have that. And it's just connected to a standard GAL door operator. It has standard nudge mode too, and it has like stuff too. And there the car goes up. And the gate even closes slowly on nudge mode too. So, overall, pretty interesting elder. There's the old alarm bell. And that's it.